I recently made a video where I created an application based off James Clear's Atomic Habits book. You can come in here and see how you've done for the last seven days. You can even come in here and check off whatever you've done for each day and show a progress bar. And now today, we're gonna add AI automation to this application using Superbase MCP server, crew AI for the agents, and some Telegram code to send a message. And then every day at 6 a.m., we'll get today's habits along with a quote from James Clear's book. We have a few things to go over, so let's go ahead and get started. I just recently started coaching and helping people build AI services that they can actually use and sell. Join my school community now if you wanna learn as well. All right, well, the first step that we need to do is we need to install everything for the project. So crew AI all the way to MCP. I'll have this for you, but you just need to install these five different packages. Okay, and now to create this automation, we need to connect to the database because the database is gonna have all of our habits. So we need to connect to the database, retrieve that information, and then send that in Telegram, which is another piece of code. So the first thing is we want to use Supabase MCP server to make this easier. Now, how do we do this? And I have, you can see, I already have some code here. So let's see, how did I know to get this? Well, it just so happens that Supabase has created their own MCP server and they give you exactly how to do it. Typically what you'll always see as it's in JSON form, but when you're using with an agent, especially with Crew AI, the way they have set up, the way they have this set up, that you just give it as parameters instead. So I, got, I basically took this command and these arguments, and then I paste that into our code just like this. So the command npx, and then here are the four arguments. Now the only thing you're going to need is this personal access token. Well, how do you do that? Well, you'll have, you'll have this link in the description, but you'll basically right click, open this uh, personal access token link, come in here and you just generate a new token. And then you'll save this into your .env file and then you are able to use it in your MCP server. Now, I created a video already on how Crew AI integrates with MCP servers, multiple, but I'm gonna review that one more time with you because we are gonna be using Crew AI an agent with Crew AI to connect to our super base to start off this AI automation. So what we have is an MCP server adapter. We're basically giving it these server parameters, okay? So this adapter is basically how it's helping connect the MCP server with our agent. There's something, things going on in the background and everything that's the server params. So all the tools that are involved with this MCP server, we're just renaming them as tools. And then I create a crew AI agent, the role, goal, backstory. I give it the tools here. This is the important part. I give it the tools, which will be all the tools for super base server and super based MCP server. And then we give it a task. This is pretty basic. And I'm just giving the last retrieve the last five records from the database for, for the habits. Uh, so I give it the project name, the table, and I just need you to take the habits for the day and go give a quote from atomic habits by James clear, since that's what the app is based off of that book. Okay, so that's, and I give it some expected output and then I have the crew and I kick it off. Pretty simple. This is going to allow us to connect to Supabase and use all the tools necessary to retrieve this information. And this means that it has access to a lot of things in, uh, in our database, but we can just give it a specific table to retrieve from. Okay, well, the first thing I'm doing is I'm gonna run this because I just wanna show you how we connect to the actual MCP server to get what we need. So whenever you do, it says right here what the available tools are from our MCP servers. Well, we have one, but there's about 20 tools here that we can use from Supabase. Then if we scroll down, we have, you know, I'm using reasoning. So it's reasoning out what it needs to do. Um, it's coming up with some things. So it's gonna list the projects first from Supabase to make sure that it exists. Um, I've identified the project ID and it wants to retrieve five records from the habit table. So it created a query. It did this and then here is the final answer here, the top five habits for the day, right? And an, an actual quote from the Atomic Habits, uh, Atomic Habits book. So here is, I mean, here th that was simple, right? Here is the um, Here is the output from that. So Really simple. Now what we need to do is we need to, we want to send this to Telegram. So let's see how we do that next. How this is done is I'm already on this code for you. I'm not really gonna go through this because the actual, it looks like a lot of code, but there's not really a lot going on. There's two, there's really three things happening here. You need a bot token and a chat ID with Telegram. But let's go over the code first and then I'll explain how to get that. So I have uh, a, a send Telegram text message and a send Telegram voice message. So it doesn't matter what you use, 
the uh, as you see the URLs, the actual APIs are just slightly different. There's a send voice and a send a message. Both just take the Telegram bot token. Now the voice has something a little bit different, but uh, I took care of that already for you. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a general send Telegram message and depending whether it checks if there was a speech path or not, if we used voice, then we'll use voice. Otherwise, it's just always going to send a text message, which will be the default. Okay, so this code is here. What we really need, what's important is to get the token and chat ID, like I said. Well, as it turns out, any den that I've used before on this channel has really good documentation for getting the credentials for a lot of these things. And Telegrams is no different. It is really good. So I'll have this in the description for you, but in Telegram credentials for NA10, just follow these steps. So using the API bot access token, you're gonna come in here and just gonna follow these steps. If you follow these, you will get it. There's no doubt you're gonna get it. It's that easy. It just takes you a few minutes. Now, the harder thing to get is the actual chat ID. So after you've done it, as you can see, I've already done some testing in other areas with this. Um, actually, I have a future video coming out when I do this with NA10. But what you want to do is once you get that set up, you're going to have your bot here. So mine's called mine's called Tyler AI. I'm going to send a message called hello. Okay, obviously, uh, I, I might send a message. Yeah, there we go. So I sent a message called hello. The next thing is I'm going to have this for you, but you're just going to copy and paste this URL into, I mean, you could use Postman or something else, but just put it into your browser and just replace the carrots, like where it says your dash token, replace that with the access token that you just got if you created a fresh Telegram account or a Telegram bot. Replace that here and when you press enter, you're going to get a response back that'll give you the chat ID. And once you get that chat ID, you're just gonna create a .env file and then pass those in here, or you can hard code them in, whatever you wanna do, but we just need those two things and then we can send that message. Okay, so now what I've done is just at the very end, after the crew kickoff, I'm just saying send result.raw to the Telegram message. Let's, this, let's test this out. Okay, so it gave me another output saying here are today's top habits, not just all of my habits. That's just with prompting. And it sent it here in Telegram. Okay, I know, of course, I don't necessarily like how this looks. I would prompt this to give me a better output, but this works. The code works. You just really need that bot token and chat ID. Okay, now the last thing we need to do to make this an actual automation with some AI in there is that we need to be able to schedule this whenever we want to. But as of right now, I'm manually executing the function to make all this happen. I don't want to do that. I just want this to be running in the background. Well, there are actually a few ways to accomplish this, but one of the easier ways is with a library called AP Scheduler. This makes scheduling tasks very easy. So how this works, all the code that we have for the MCP server and the crew AI agent, we're going to wrap that into another function. In this case, I call it background super based task. So when you do that, then at the bottom here, we're going to create a scheduler. So we're going to create a background scheduler. We're going to add a job. We're going to pass in the function. We're going to cron. This is just a cron job. This is what we're going to do to schedule. And then we're going to, what you do is you put the hour and minute every day that you would like this to be executed. So right now it's um, recording at 11.17 PM. So this would mean this would be 23. And let me do this for, uh, let me do this for 18. Okay. So then what's going to do is I'm going to start this. And I'm just gonna basically every minute, it's gonna be checking to see if there was something scheduled for that minute and then execute it. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so it's running. It's still only 11.17 up here. As soon as that turns 11.18, you'll see, you'll see where it says function executed at, well, it'll be 11.18 p.m. Okay, it just turned 11.18 p.m. Uh, right there, executed at 23.18, which is 11.18 p.m. And it's just doing the same thing. It's just executing what we already know it's going to do. You sh we should hear a ding in a second that we got the Telegram message. And there it is. Okay, now I know this is not giving the best output. This was prompting and that's okay. But you know, this is working exactly how I want. And this is how you basically build some AI automation. There, there are multiple ways you can have it triggered off something, or you can just have something scheduled to be executed all the time. And that's what makes this so simple, right? Not everything has to be complicated. It can be a simple thing. And as we can see here, the process hasn't ended, which basically means 
tomorrow night at 11 or tomorrow at 11 18 p.m it's going to do the same exact thing it's going to run the same function it's going to use the super base mcp server retrieve the habits uh, format them in a better way hopefully and then sell, send them to my telegram i started coaching not long ago and one of the things was building ai services which typically means you need full stack applications so in my school community i just recently put out a full stack ai application building course look like i just mentioned AI animation doesn't have to be complex. You see it everywhere over Reddit, over YouTube, that there are all these complex automations, especially with the, in the no code space. And that's not really necessary a lot of times. I believe many times things can be broken down into smaller workflows or smaller parts, and they can perform the same way. When you have something super complex, not that it's not needed for certain things, but if it seems too complex, you're probably gonna have a problem of maintaining it and updating it in the future. And you really don't want that. So when you build something like this, that is simple, it's really gonna help you. And this really helps you understand, okay, look, I can do this. Is this something that I can actually build that I can actually use? And then once you kind of start using a lot of these AI services and these automations, you know, it, it, things start to become a little bit more clear and easier when things actually work. And again, I have everything in the description below, and I hope to see you in my school community where I help you build and I help you with your goals. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.